Breaking news, this is becoming a real serious issue. We're hearing that Lawa Apabio reached two years imprisonment. Remember, the Senate president who never purchased the sanitaria form and Akpabiu as well, and never participated in the primaries, are insisting they are the candidate representing their senatorial districts. For the Senate President, Hamed Lawa, he picked a young man who had been a House of Representatives member before, and he told the guy, uh, buy the form. If he gave him the money, I don't know. Ask the guy to buy the form and everything. And at the end of the day, the guy you know, participated in the primaries. INEC supervised it and the guy won. Same thing is happening to Aquabio and, uh, you know, Aquabio, Cross River State. And this guy, they did not participate yet. They want to ensure that they remain senators. APC submitted names to INEC and they put the name of this very people. So you can see that there is real issues going on here. You can tell for yourself that there are real issues. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Lawa Akbabio risks two years imprisonment. Senator, Senate President Ahmed Lawa, former governor of Akwa Ibom State, Godwin Akbabio, other politicians who obtained more than one nomination form risked two years imprisonment under the new Electoral Act 2022. Senate President Hamed Lawa, former governor of Akwa Ibom State, Gordon Akbabio, and other politicians who has obtained more than one nomination form now risk two years imprisonment under the Electoral Act 2022. The resident Electoral Commission in Akwa Ibom State, Mikey Guinea, disclosed this on Tuesday, stated this while featuring on Channel's TV Arise Daily, Quoting section 115, subsection D of the Electoral Act 2022. It says, If Nigeria is a country where there is transparency and truth, the, fellow in the, the following individuals who have purchased more than one form, it ought not to be under the new Electoral Act, have done so at the peris of their being imprisoned. However, in Nigeria, anything goes and so nobody has been able to adequately ask and find out what exactly is going on here. This has continued to be a real point, you know, a real call for concern on account that, you know, nothing particular, you know, is going on. Okay, it's going on right now. So my wonderful people, Nigerians are wondering and are asking, what exactly is going on here? Okay, what exactly is going on here? Why are they not speaking? Why are they not speaking? What exactly is happening? What exactly is happening? Why are these people silent and quiet about the current devastation and all that is going on? If they have broken the law and they are still serving, there is serious call for concern. They have broken the law, yet they are still serving. They are still there and everybody is quiet. And yet Akbabi is fighting the young man seriously who has said he's not stepping down for him. He's seriously against the young man whom he picked to buy the interest nomination form. And the young man said, you've been a senator for the past 20 years. For the past 20 years. The guy has been a senator since 1999, now serving as a Senate president. Okay, he, 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 he said, according to what he told INEC, is that he bought the form. But INEC supervised the elections. He did not win. The person, if, he, if at all, he bought in the spirit. The person who, bought, who won that elections was the young, is the young man now, merchant, who is seeking that he wants to be a senator. And the only way with which Ahmed Lawa, the Senate president, can come on board is if the young man, UK, willingly, you know, says he's not participating. And that's what APC is trying to force him to do. And the young man, they forged the signature. He has sent a message to INEC saying, I did not consent. That I have said it that I will participate in the election. And if you see any forged letter from me, it is not from me. So according to Guinea, the uh, INEC uh, official in Aqua Ibom State, he said if Nigeria is to be a place where there is truth and the truth is being dispensed, the Senate president should have been picked up, not just himself, 
What about Sokoto State Governor? He picked up another form apart from he picked up presidential form, stepped down, and also, I mean, so when you look at it, you are asking yourself, where is the truth in those that say they are government? What are they governmenting? What are what are they leading? Yet they pick up boys and call them Yahweh, and they read Yahweh, Yahweh are the people who are the top. So who is who is deceiving who here? Who are the deceitful people? These are the questions we must give answers to. And if we cannot give answers to them, I don't think we are ready. Honestly, sincerely speaking, I don't think we are ready for truth to be dispensed. These people give all kinds of lies and excuses. Yes, and yet they have nothing to present. They break the very law they say they are, they are putting in place. The very law, they break it. The very law. So who is going to arrest Ahmed Lawa when there are no... You see, there is no need for a law to be put in place if it will not be implemented. There is no need. It's a complete waste of time because that law is for the is for the innocent. So the innocent ones are the ones who who suffer unjustly on account of some laws that have been put in place. Why the other people they go and all these things are happening because APC is the party now. Nobody is able to effectively enforce and say no. Do you have broken this law? This is the consequences of it. You must face it. There's nobody ensuring that those laws are being followed there's a new electoral act that has been signed who is ensuring that you know indeed the electoral act is followed to the latter no one no one so these are some of the things happening and everybody is quiet sokoto state governor purchased more than one form he knew he was going to step down but he took the one for 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 pdp presidential and also you know a re-election for him they are not just the only one Many of many and many of them, but who is going to ensure that these people pay for the consequences of the actions they have taken? Who is going to ensure that who are those implementing and ensuring that the laws that these things are followed to the latter, so that people can learn from it, others can deter and you know ensure that they don't they don't of, or, or, you know offend or go astray in such a manner, you know, and ensure that at the end of the day, truth becomes our watchword. Who are those ensuring that? Should I tell you? Nobody. Nobody. Like nobody. So who is deceiving who at the end of the day? We are deceiving ourselves. Because the law is for some people, not the generality of others. So it, it is now what fraudulent. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Bye for now.